Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. You can see we're still in the shed in Pisa in Italy at Seven Stars Shipyard. Behind me is the mighty motor yacht AWOL and you may notice that on the port side about midships we have the scaffolding which has been erected. Now, what happened during last winter's yard period while, when we had the paint job, if you haven't seen that video from last winter, we did a full paint job on motor yacht AWOL here. On the bridge deck, one of the glass panels got cracked and it took 12 weeks to order a new one. So we couldn't have it done before the 2019 season. So we agreed with the paint company to have it installed this year. And obviously because of COVID-19, we've been slightly delayed. However, the scaffolding is up. In the box here, in this crate, let me quickly show you guys, we have the new glass panel. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna use this giant crate up here um, to lift the panel, sorry, to remove the old panel and then lift up the new panel. And then this is the crate here, which has the new glass panel inside. You can see it's a massive glass panel that we have to install. Um, so hopefully that'll be done the next week or two. Nice high scaffolding in there, give you guys a good angle. Um, so that's that. Now Jason's going to apply another coat of the yellow for the yellow shackle. Uh, a lot of questions I'm getting is, you know, how do we decide on the colour of the chain? I think Jason's going to tell us the acronym. Uh, rub your balls with grease. <laughs> Red, yellow, blue, white, green. Green. So what do you think guys, rub your balls with grease? Red, yellow, blue, rub your balls with white and green. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Jason loves it. <laughs> He's a dirty old sea dog, aren't you Jace? I don't know about old, but definitely dirty. <laughs> Guys, I'm delighted to announce that today's video has been sponsored by our good friends at Aquabanners. Now, Aquabanners, they create custom inflatables for your yachts, for hotel resorts, anything related to the water, swimming pools or beaches, they can do for you. From these big, super inflatable slides to have off the side of the yacht, to the inflatable trampolines. They also do inflatable social areas so you have a nice party with your friends jet ski docking areas, sea do docking areas. They do inflatables for the beach, such as you know uh, a massage bed, they do sun lounges, everything that you can possibly imagine they do. If you're interested in checking them out, please go to www.aquabanners.com or go onto Instagram and or other social media outlets and check out Aquabanners. They're, they're all there, there's loads of photos, lots of information, really great company. I personally met the founder of the company, Mark Anastasia, a really nice guy. So go and check them out and show your support. So I was just saying, Jason is finishing off the uh, final coats on the yellow shackle, and then uh, that'll be done, left to dry, and then we're gonna finish fin the work on the anchor windlass. Once that's done, we'll then put the chains back in the anchor locker and stow the anchors in place. And there we have it. Ching ching. Um, and then also, guys, we've had the propellers removed because we had some damage done last winter, or last winter, last season. So they're getting, they've been sent to Genoa, which is about two hours away. And this will be, well, the, the, we, this will be, what's wrong with me today, Tristan? Come on. This is where the propellers are normally mounted. This is called a P bracket. Then we've got the propeller shaft. 
This is our rudder. Um, actually, while we're actually here, I want to tell you guys about a product called Prop Speed. Just so you know, this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form, but no. It is a sponsored video, but not sponsored by Proper Speed. It's sponsored by Aqua Banners. But anyway, that's another story. I'm losing my mind in this video. I know what's wrong with me. I'm just excited to get back in the water. That's what it is. Anyway, you can see there's a product on here called, and it's called Prop Speed. And what it does, you can apply it to your, to your prop shafts, to your props, to your rudders, to your bow thrusters, and it stops the, any kind of sea growth and barnacles from building up on those particular items. It's quite expensive, but it's really good. Let me just give you an example. This was applied right last winter and it still looks brand new uh, it's really good there's no barnacles at, at all in it there's no signs of growth so highly highly recommend that it's really good um, what else did we do we had the cupless bearings changed uh, last winter they're still looking very new these are the cupless bearings up in here Basically, it's uh, essentially a, a seal uh, and then it has little grates in it to allow water in to cool. Here we have what's called the anode. This is a, what's called a sacrificial anode. So throughout the, the vessel, to prevent any kind of electrolysis, we use a thing called sacrificial anodes. That's a very soft, soft, soft iron, which, which, will, um, which will basically experience electrolysis before the boat does. Um, if you want more information about electrolysis and um, sacrificial anodes and cathodes, I suggest you I suggest you Google that and have a look for yourselves. Otherwise, I'll be talking here for hours and hours and hours. Now, um, in a previous video, I mentioned about the exhaust valves. So, on the outlet side, so you guys can see, um, on the last video, I talked about the valves. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link just here. You can see. This is the underwater exhaust, and just above that, there, how do I get the angle on the camera? There we go, there, that is the above water exhaust. So what normally happens is you've got both running because of back pressure uh, from the water in the sea, uh, at low RPM, we get a back pressure on the exhaust. So that's why we need the exhaust part out of the water. Once we reach over a thousand RPM, there's enough, there's enough pressure from the exhaust to push, to push out. So what we're doing, we're installing a valve which when the engine does reach over a thousand RPM, it will automatically shut that one off and keep this one open. The reason we're doing that is because normally anything aft of that exhaust on the hull, on the painted surface, is for like soot and muck and horrible exhaust stuff, um, which we don't want. So we want to keep the boat looking as pristine and clean as possible. Another thing we're going to be doing is like we do every year, we'll be anti-fouling the vessel. So anti-fouling is a special type of paint. I don't like calling it paint, it's an anti-foul. What it does, it sticks to the surface of the hull on the, below the water line. And it stops any, again, any kind of growth and build up of crap you really don't want on the boat because it affects the vessel's performance and you don't want that. It really slows it down. And so guys, that is pretty much that. That's the update. As always, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that like button because it really does help. It really does, it really does. I'm gonna get back on board now. Um, and done already, do subscribe to the channel. Got some great content coming out. I think this season in Croatia, my favorite cruising grounds and on behalf of the mighty AWOL and myself, we look forward to seeing you all next time.